Finding community when you are a business owner is so, so, so important. Every time I have joined a membership or community where I'm getting that face-to-face interaction and I'm putting in the time and the effort, right, and I'm showing up, my business has grown. And so today I want to talk about something that I've created, a special community that I really hope can help business owners not only grow their business, but grow their podcasts and align them together so they can help them reach their goals. Are you ready to start a strategic podcast for your business and share your message in a way that feels wildly authentic? This is the place. Welcome to Podcast Your Business, where each week I share the strategy behind having a podcast that helps grow your business. I'm Caroline Hull, podcast manager, strategist, and consultant, and I've seen the power a podcast can have for your business. Let's get started. Welcome back to Podcast Your Business. I can't believe it is back to school time already. It feels like August has creeped up on this. If you're listening in the future, it is August of 2023. I have been super busy getting my kids started back at school. We homeschool and they're starting all their activities and their enrichment programs and just trying to figure out what that new normal looks like, especially as they are getting older. So if you are a back-to-school mom and you're listening to this, we are in the same boat right now. But I love this time of year because it really is like a new beginning in a way. Even though it's not technically the beginning of the year, a lot of us measure our time by school years, right? And we measure it by the fall and starting all these new things and then going into winter, And it's interesting because that is the cycle that we see with human beings in the United States, especially. We see a little bit of that cycle with podcasts as well. I think because during the summer, everybody is on vacation mode. They're going, they're doing, they're with people. There isn't a ton of podcast listening go on. We usually see a dip in downloads during the summer. And then in August, they start to slowly tick up again. And then September, it's just like explosion, right? And so I love this time because it is such a great time to take a look at everything you're doing. We're going into Q4, which is, you know, panic season for a lot of business owners. But I really like to look at this time as what can I do to move forward, right? What can I work on? What can I achieve that's going to take me into Q4 and Q1 and beyond? And one thing that I've been thinking a lot about for myself is where can I find my people? Where can I hang out with like-minded people? Where can I talk about the things that I'm struggling with as a business owner, as a podcaster? Where is that place? And this year we've been really thinking about at Wild Home Podcasting, how we want to show up in the world and how we want to help people, our capacity, all of these things, right, that are so important as you start to scale and build your business. And there's one thing in particular that I have always wanted to do. I've been thinking about it and dreaming about it for years. And this year, we finally brought it to fruition, I mentioned community and how impactful that's been for my business, how every time I have joined a mastermind or a membership, my business has grown. And I do think like, you know, the thing with it is, is being around people that are putting out the same energy as you, that are encouraging growth, that are working towards some of the things that you are working towards is really powerful. And It can really help you take steps forward and make the movement that you need to make to achieve your goals. I have always wanted to create a place that existed just like this, but for business owners like you and me who are using podcasting as part of their marketing, 
because there's not a lot of space where I can have these conversations. I am in a couple of podcasting Facebook groups, so I can stay on top of trends and what's happening in the Facebook groups. But honestly, you know, those groups are not as specific as someone like me who's working on podcast strategy for marketing, for getting leads, for generating content. Usually it's more general podcasting stuff, right? And that can get really confusing when you're trying to do what we are doing with our podcast, which is using it as the main piece of our marketing and using it to drive leads to our business. And so I always wanted to create something like that, a special place for business owners to come where we could talk about podcasting, we could talk about our business, and where all of the podcast advice was geared toward business owners and not just the traditional podcast marketing models. And I really want to share that with you. I want to share this thing that I've created that is near and dear to my heart and the vision I have for how I want to help people moving forward. And that is my monthly membership called the Strategic Podcast Academy. So SPA, Strategic Podcast Academy, SPA for short, has been like this little glimmer of a thought in my brain for years. And we've always like talked about some kind of iteration of it, but it just never really gelled until this year when I had my hip surgery. So I had major hip surgery at the end of February. It's my second surgery on this hip. I'm a former ballet dancer. If you ever want to hear the whole story, feel free to DM me on Instagram and I'll, I'll tell you what happened to me. But when I was recovering from the surgery, we really, you know, there's nothing like time on a couch for six weeks to make you look at all of your life's choices and where you're going. And <laughs> my ops manager, Alyssa, and I started having a lot of conversations about what we wanted our days, our weeks, our months, our years to look like. And whenever we would talk about that, we would always come back to this passion that we have and I especially have, which is sharing podcast strategy. Because I think that there are so many business owners out there who either have a podcast and it's not working or they have a podcast that's somewhat working, but it's not doing what they want it to do. And like, I want to change that. I want every business owner who has a podcast to be able to use it to help build their business. And we have restructured all of our offers at Wild Home Podcasting to be around this concept, this idea. And so when we kept talking about it, we kept talking about the membership and coming back to it because this was just a little baby idea that we've had written on a Google Doc for things we might want to work on. And it just felt like it was the right time to really pull the trigger on it and start the membership. And so that's what we did. And so this year we launched the Strategic Podcast Academy. I was really excited about it, but I did not realize how much I would love this space and how important it's become to me. It is literally my favorite thing that I do every month, and it's it's just such a great, wonderful container for me to just pour all of the information and knowledge and research that I've done. And so how we help people through the SPA membership is we basically you come into the membership and every month we have a master class of sorts that's going to be on a podcasting topic but like I mentioned before it's going to be geared towards business owners but when you come in to the membership you're going to immediately find our framework which is literally written down nowhere else like it is in the academy but it's our framework for creating a strategy for your podcast and then you'll also find some trainings to get you started on how to do an audit and how to set goals for your podcast that are actually meaningful and are going to work. And this is kind of like the foundation of what we do. And then from there, you have the opportunity to attend the monthly master classes, the monthly office hour Q&A calls. You also have the opportunity to submit anything to me to review that month. So we call it like a collateral 
review because you're working on things. And the whole idea is that you have this podcast strategy framework that you're going to be building out during your time in the membership. And so what I always tell the members is to put in there what you're working on, what you're struggling with, tag me in it, and I will review it. And there's a lot of other benefits to being in the membership, including industry updates and being in a community. And now I'm right back to that important piece, which is community. The cool thing about being in this group is everyone that is in there is a business owner who is launching a podcast or has a podcast and they want to build a strategy around it. When we talk about podcast strategy, inevitably, we are talking about a lot of other things. We're talking about business goals. We're talking about funnels. We are talking about marketing in general. We're talking about visibility. We're talking about search engine optimization. All of these pieces that you think maybe just apply to podcasting actually apply to your business. And that really is where the value comes from because everything that we're doing each month, you can take and apply to your business and to your podcast, and it will make an impact. Little changes, little movement over time can create big change. And I've mentioned before that podcasting is a long game, and that's another reason why I really like the membership container because it can get really lonely when you're doing this by yourself and you're working week after week on your podcast and you feel like you're not making any movement. And so come to the membership. Let's talk about where you're stuck. Let's talk about what you're working on and how you can push through that and make a little tweak, a little change to move forward. I mean, sometimes there are big changes that you definitely need to make. And we talk about those too. But I really want to emphasize the importance of these little micro baby things that we do that can have such a big impact over time. One of the biggest things I hear whenever I'm talking about podcast strategy or working on your business, joining a membership is time. And I really want to talk about time and how it relates to podcasting because podcasting is a little bit time intensive sometimes. Sometimes it feels like it takes up a lot of time and sometimes it doesn't. (laughs) And one thing that we never want to do is put more on people's plates. What we want to do instead is figure out the things that you can do now to be intentional and the systems you can set up so that way things are automated, things are systematized, things are running smoothly, and you're not putting a ton more time. So this is never, ever about adding more time to your schedule. Yes, it will take time to come to the master classes and then maybe a little homework afterwards. But I, I will also say this, like if, if investing in the time will help you to turn your podcast into a lead generator faster, wouldn't that be a good return on investment? Instead of constantly recording episodes and putting them out and hoping that somebody will click something and come to your website and purchase something, like, wouldn't it be better to have a strategy and to have spent that time on it instead of wasting time on a podcast that isn't working for your business? And so I think about that a lot when people mention time. I think the other thing that people worry about when they join memberships is like, what if I'm not able to make all the calls or all the things that you have going on? And that's totally okay, and that's why we have a variety of things for you to kind of pick and choose from. You know, I am not interested in like a cookie-cutter model for everybody that doesn't work. We're all unique, and we all uniquely need support and help in different ways. And so that's why in the membership there are a variety of ways to get help and support, including commenting in the membership, submitting something for my review and feedback, coming to a call, messaging me in private, all of those things are available to you in the membership. And so like really finding, okay, what works for me? What do I enjoy? I am not one who can make a ton of live calls. I have a very busy schedule. I have a very busy home life. It's very difficult for me to make calls. And one thing that I love is knowing that I can pop back into a membership that I'm in 
and watch a recording in my own time. I can speed it up. I can take notes. You know, all of those are really great for me. And so I really do like want to encourage you if you're at all interested in this material to go ahead and join because this is the only way you're going to get it. I don't share any of this stuff anywhere else. It just goes in the membership. So it's there for you if you need it. And if you join the membership and you come into the resources, you will see that everything that we've ever done is in there and will be in there forever. So what's coming down the pipeline for the Strategic Podcast Academy? We have covered so far this year the customer path, which I think is really, really important to understanding how your customers are getting from point A to point B and what they need from you through the podcast and what they need from you after you listen to the podcast. We've also talked about strategic content that sells without being salesy. And we have dived into SEO (laughs) and categories and rankings. And I always giggle when I talk about these technical masterclasses that we do because a lot of times when people come into them, they're like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a lot. And I always try to make it as easy to understand as possible and give you one action item so you can walk away and be able to do what you need to do without feeling overwhelmed. Coming up, we're going to be talking about why having a visibility strategy is important and how to do that. We're going to be talking about ways to create connection with your listeners, which is a really huge thing this year. All the trends reports put out that listeners want more connection with their hosts. And I'm going to give you a hint. It's a lot easier for us than it is other podcasts. So I'm excited about that. We're going to be talking about email marketing for your podcast, social media. There's so much coming down the pipeline, including having guest experts. In fact, I'm actually planning a masterclass right now on the types of social media graphics you need for your podcast and what works and what doesn't. And we'll even be giving like a real world example of pulling something from the show notes and creating something savable that you can post on social media. Love that. So it is really all about action. It's about following the strategy, the framework for our strategy. And like I said, making these steps so you can move forward, so you can create a podcast that's going to help you grow your business. And the cool part about all of this is like I'm not just teaching podcast strategy. Obviously, I am teaching podcast strategy, but these are the same things that I do and use every day in my own business. I use this exact framework that's in the membership for my clients when we do one-on-one intensives, refreshes, and launches. And these are things that I know work. I've seen work I've seen them work for me and I've seen them work for our clients and I've just packaged them up differently and put them in a space where you can come in and not feel like you have to implement it all in one day, right? Like that is my goal is to make podcasting easier for you and more impactful. And so I wanted to share that on this episode today because I love the Strategic Podcast Academy so much. I have a dream that is just filled with podcasters and that we are changing the face of podcast strategy and really creating and carving out a space, especially for female business owners, to come and talk about podcasting in a way that doesn't feel like a lot of marketing, a lot of empty promises like a very genuine, authentic place to come together and talk about podcast strategy and talk about how we are going to grow our businesses and hit those business goals using our podcast. And so if this is something that you want to be a part of, I would love to have you. The doors are open. You can head to strategicpodcastacademy.com. And Thank you so much for listening and being here on this podcast because this podcast is a huge piece of what my business is, what it has become, and what it's going to become in the future. And I'm just so excited to go on this journey with you, to take you along with me, and to keep recording episodes. See you next week. 
Thank you for listening to Podcast Your Business. For more podcasting tips, follow us on Instagram at Wild Home Podcasting. If you are ready to launch, up-level, or grow your podcast, head to wildhomepodcasting.com to get started today.